And just like that, not a cloud in the sky. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. It has been hot as balls lately, but today it's still hot, but there's a nice breeze. So uh, yesterday I was cutting the lawn and I had pants on because I hate when all the shit hits your legs. And uh, I was soaked head to toe. So and I gave my truck a wash, but as you can see, now dirty. Had a rain last night. Anyways, we got Rob here. What's up? What's up? How are you? Good, how you doing? Yeah, you're usual. Look at the track. I'm definitely thinking that we need to do motos later. Look at the dampness. You don't get uh, days like these this time of year. It's always very... It's been so hot lately. I know. It's always dry as a fart. So anyways, we figured it's car jumping day. So we have two runners right now. Well, technically three. I think that Cadillac still runs. But we got this Ford Escape, which uh, I got for my buddy. And this Equinox. I got this Honda Civic, but buddy didn't have the key, so he oh. just he just gave it to me. So we just loaded on with the tractor. I figured we'll put her up for parts or whatever. Got the cat off. Have you a good put day. Put it on the landing strip. Yeah, or that. If we can drag it up. I guess it is. It's manual. We could drag it up there. Actually, Maybe I could push you up there. Honestly, we have tried it so many times where we put a car on top yeah. and either just messes it or flies right over the top. Oh. So, but we can try it. I don't care. Anyways, the Equinox. She's front wheel drive. She's very fast. And yeah, we haven't really used it for much. We had a race or two with it. And uh, I think it's just time to jump. It's been sitting here. Uh, I don't think we sold any parts. A few people offered to buy the whole thing. But, you know, I think they wanted to use it as their daily. So yeah no so all right let's uh let's get the keys we need the noco of course I left it on the back of my truck and yeah we'll push this uh, honda to the top of the jump and we'll see if we can send this thing to space and then i'm thinking it's moto time later and then after that i'm going to take the maverick to tilsonburg and uh see if we can get pulled over I had no luck so far so uh, who would have thought all right let's do this Oh yeah! Is it gonna stay running? Looks like we're good. All right, let's uh, shove that thing up top. I didn't know this thing will push it. No. Might have to get the, uh, the old escape there. She's all wheel drive. This front wheel sucks. This thing's still got AC. Anyways, let's see if we can push her. Oh yeah. See, Ford for the win. Can you not turn? Really? Oh yeah, I guess steering wheel's locked, eh? Totally locked. Huh. All right, I'll, I'll keep trying. That's as far as I'm getting them. <laughs> All right, never mind. So I tilled this area up the other day because it was super rough from doing all the crazy donuts. So I'm just gonna drive around, pack it down real quick. Do a few slow laps. It's like the first normal thing we've done down here. <laughs> it's smashing everything. Ugh. Look at this dirt though. Oh my God, I can't wait to ride. Looks so good. Oh yeah, look at that dirt. All right, we packed down that area over there. I decided to park the Ford Escape up here, so I'm sure we still won't be able to hit it. But if we do, that'd be cool. So we're gonna send this Equinox down this hill, nail, boom, thing. How's your day? See you later, here we go. Parked the truck way over here. My Uber has arrived. <laughs> Thank you. I don't you. know where else the locks are. There. Oh, footrest. Yeah, footrest. I like how every car you have has a book, book in it, so. Like, everyone keeps the books in Most it. Most of them don't usually have them. Oh, air freshener. Oh, really? I've been stealing air fresheners what? lately. Hmm, that one's, that one's good. It's like lilac. <laughs> <laughs> I actually kept that air freshener, the cat one, I put it in my truck. Well, it helps. Yeah, I know. It's so you. good. Jeez. Laura, look at Laura got it. She's like, wow, that smells really good. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> got it for free. <laughs> uh, all right, let's launch this thing. All right, are we gonna be in it? <laughs> <laughs> you can stay in it. I will not be. No. Let's just hope it's a. You want? You should sit in the escape. POV. You get POV view. 
Are we gonna do the red car? Oh no, we no, we're doing it. the we're doing the escape. That's why yeah, I parked okay. it up there. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, elite, but that still works. You still want to do that? That's yeah, fine. It'll just <laughs> it'll hit the passenger side. There might not be much room left because it'll be crunched into like here. True. It'll be fine. Yeah, let's All do right. it. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll hook up the drone, GoPro, and we'll All right, this how thing do I fly. get up there? Don't go up there yet. We got to set this thing up. <laughs> ah, all right. So, anyways, we got the GoPro hooked up. I usually just use the head mount and strap it to the headrest. And then I put those seats all the way down so you can get a full view. I also use a bungee cord to hold it down because it does flop around a little bit. The stabilizer is pretty good, but, uh, you know, bungee cord is better. Yeah, that's on there pretty good. Yeah, and then up front, I use the old strap here and i usually if there's a handle up here i go through there but this one i'll just go through the door and then hook it to the headrest and hook it to oh. here just so it drives somewhat straight and then the old pvc pipe with a bullet hole in it <laughs> so i got this off of mitsubishi um they had like a snorkel on it we cut it off and ended up using it as a launch matic the original launch matic blake made for me there's a little two by four with some shingles on the end he even wrote launch matic on it and someone actually came down here and stole it. So, That's ridiculous. Yeah, and then I was using a two by four with a nail in it for a while. That worked pretty good, but yeah, basically I just throw it neutral, jam that in there, and then throw oh, it Oh, buddy. I used to ride it out almost to the bottom. And yeah, just, that's and ridiculous. Jump. Did you have a helmet on? Oh yeah, I had full motor gear. Look at the lumbar support knob here. I've never seen one up here before. That's weird. Huh. Usually it's on the side, but... Cause an accident, yeah. changing your lumbar in an intersection. <sighs> lumbar? That's, that's, that's expensive now. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, show you the Scadio drone. We're going to get those things set up. So this is the Scadio 2 drone. It follows you. So basically, I actually leave this beacon in the car. You can set it to the car, uh, like just click on the car. But since Rob's oh. using the camera, a.k.a. my phone... That's how you need to do it. So I just put the beacon inside the car gotcha. and it follows a GPS signal. And I put it a little further back because, you know, sometimes it does glitch. And then that way, if it does, I always get the shot. I can just zoom in a little better. So Smart. Yeah, we'll fire this thing up and uh, jump the Equinox. Mark's telling you all the secrets. Holy <laughs> yeah. crap, I didn't think that would ever happen. I have all my secrets to that. Okay. Yeah, you can have all the secrets, but don't try this at home, right? <laughs> yeah, well, if you have the property to do it, go ahead. <laughs> Is it shut down? Yeah. yeah, that was super odd. Just gonna land this before we peel through our battery. Yeah, I got up to the top of the hill and all of a sudden it was like freaking blah, 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 blah. blah, like, blah pop, I've never seen Mark sit still for like 10 seconds <laughs> in a car. What's going on? I know. I don't know what happened. So anyways, hopefully turn it off, reset it, and uh, try again. We'll set this drone back up and let her fly. It was so odd. It was running so good. Just that hill, eh? I wonder if it's because it's sitting on this hill. I wonder if we push it down. If we can push it down. Well, it's kind of going now, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's just because the battery's what's, on Yeah. What's your... Ooh. Ooh. Rut roll. So Come on. What do you guys think it is? Let me know in the comments. This isn't right. I was so excited. Fuck, it was going too. We got gas. Not much. I wonder if there was just some sediment in the tank. Maybe it sucked it up. Or the cat's clogged or something. I don't know. Let's let it... Yeah, we'll let it sit for a minute here. See if she fixes herself. All right, well, I think that thing is done. She's on her way out. So we have a new idea. I don't really want to smash the escape up yet. I just got it. Usually like to get a video or two out of it. Anyways, we're gonna swap the escape with the Equinox, put the Equinox up there, then try and start the Cadillac. I'm pretty sure it still runs. Jump the Cadillac into the Equinox. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that works. We shall see oh, yeah. how it goes. <laughs> If only the Civic, if only we had the key for it. Well, get on there. Yeah. All right. Does she still run?
Doesn't like to run far. Yeah, I think we're jumping the Ford Escape today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we're jumping the Ford Escape today. I cut the cat off, so she got smoky real quick. All right, sorry for the escape, you're going for a ride. Yeah, comes a day when you wanna, when you gotta jump something you don't want to, but, oh, make for an interesting video. Yeah, crank her left. See if we can get around that Honda Civic. So I was gonna cut the roof off this thing, but guess that's not happening now. We're just going to set everything up in here and hopefully she goes straight this time. The last Ford Escape kind of turned last second. So yeah, hopefully this thing flies straight and high. Let's set her up. Uh oh. Hey, you ready? Yeah. Here it goes. Oh, it is running! Whoa! Oh my god! Here it goes. Oh, it is running! Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my, it was a fountain too when it landed. It totally cleared that. Oh, I knew it'd clear it. Those Ford escapes are so fast. Oh my, it was a fountain too when it landed. It totally cleared that. Oh, I knew it'd clear it. Those Ford escapes are so fast. Dude, you hit that perfect too. I know, it's going down. I thought it was going to turn and then it just went perfectly. Oh straight. my gosh. Let's go check it out. <laughs> it's still running. Holy. I got it. Ah, well, hopefully the drone got that. Hopefully I got that. Here, I'll give that to you. And I'll also give this to you. There you go. My hands are shaking. Watch your fingers there. Hold by the end. Or actually, I'll hold the drone. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it landed right over there. Just missed the Equinox. If it was a couple feet shorter, it looks like it would have clipped the hood and the roof. And then, and then it looks like it kind of bounced. It did. And then this is where the sprinklers happened. The whole thing just... <laughs> All the windshield oh, wiper yeah, fluid. Yeah, and... right? Oh, we hit the rock. Just nailed this rock. Oh yeah, that hitch did it, remember? Yeah, that's why I put these rocks here, so they don't oh, end up smart. Going too far. But yeah, nailed this one. Guess I'm not putting this one up for parts, eh? <laughs> wow, man. That was like... It only, it felt like slow motion when it was in the air. I don't know why. Even the back's bent up. Yeah. I know, the when power... it jumps, it's like a movie. Everything slows down. Yeah. I wonder if she'll drive. Oh, airbag went off. Yeah, just the nice driver. Nice and safe. I don't know what happened to the window here. At least it didn't shatter, eh? Yeah. Didn't lose the beacon. I was just jam it between the seat. <laughs> Best yeah. place to be, eh, when you're yeah. going off a jump? GoPro's still there, too, thanks to the bungee cord. I love how the freaking windshield washer fluid went off. Yeah, is that what that was? Yeah, it might be. It, it was a... Rad. Sprinkler. Sprinkler system, steady. All right, pull this out of here. Man. Not gonna lie, would have been a nice day to be down here once the sprinklers went off. <laughs> oh, buddy. Wild, eh? It's so much, it's crazy in person. Like, oh, seeing God. it on film too is really nuts, but. Who thought you'd have this much fun with a freaking Ford Escape? Oh, I love it. Yeah, can we see what went oh, off? Ah, uh, just the rad explode, it looks like. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, blew the cap. Oh, off. yeah. There she is. Looks like the whole the whole front end is pushed up, as you can see here. 
Well, you can see by the gap, not a whole lot. But yeah, and then you yeah. can see this crinkle here. Oh, yeah. So yeah, she's definitely pushed up a little bit. Oh, look at this. Oh. So yeah, that's all creased. So overall, it looks like if you have a front end impact jump, you'll probably <laughs> survive it. Your face, I think so. Your face will probably be pretty beat up. But other than that, should we try and start it again? Oh, yeah. We'll need the booster. But, uh, yeah, we'll grab the booster. Yeah. Let's so, but the <laughs> thing's still in the gas, eh? Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's just off? The car's just off? Yeah, it's just off. Oh, shit. All right, you want to grab the booster and we'll uh, see Do if we can ever. get this thing going? All right, I'll look at the I'll rearview mirror. Up the insides. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm completely locked out of this thing. Let's see. Got some power going and see if. Uh... Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Let me back in. Oh, wow. Well, she start. What do you guys think? I think you should get out of the way. I'm going to say maybe. I'm going to say yes. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. No. Oh, yeah, because you got to push it yeah, in. Yeah, remember, you got to push the key in all the way. Oh, uh, this is a Ford. Yeah. So we got to remember the fuel, the inertia switch shut off. I always forget about these damn Fords. So the inertia switch shut off on this one. You see that thing right there? It's just up underneath. I got coming from the other side. But yeah, it's just a little red button. You push down on it. Whenever a Ford gets in an accident, it automatically shuts the fuel off. Oh, so. Do you want me to push it? Uh, I'll do it. I know where it is. But yeah, so you just hit that, and usually they yeah, fire right back up. I didn't know about that. You might be able to jump her again. All right. Let's, Let's see. see. Batteries on. Oh, buddy. Foot on the gas or? Oh, yeah. Who was that? I don't know. I'm clearing my <laughs> I can't believe this won't start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. She done. Do the wipers work? Oh, they're trying to go. Yeah, she's done, boys. That was an amazing run, though. Yeah. And I'm glad the drone got the shot. So, thank you to Scadio, as always. You hit it perfect though, man. Like, couldn't have been yeah. better. So I love Ford Escapes. If anyone has a Ford Escape, bring it over. I'd like to jump it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. Get yourself a Scadio. There's a link below. And uh, yeah, if you have a Ford Escape, bring it over. And make sure you subscribe too. Let's get those numbers up and uh, give that ATV away at 408,000 subscribers. Anyways, have a fantastic day. We'll see you guys later. See you later.